talked about on his podcast. David, certainly appreciate it. Nothing personal with David Sampson coming out later today, however you consume your podcast. You know, if I told you the mellow ball could go number one overall in the next draft, would you think I was crazy? And would you think that even if he does get that number one pick, that it'd be better than brother Alonzo in 2017, which was the number two pick overall out of UCLA at 18 years old, LaMelo, been playing professionally in Australia, got a good chance to be a top five pick or even number one, perhaps to the dubs, according to Gary Parrish's NBA mock draft. And as we take a look at GP's list right here, yes, the Warriors would be the winner here at number one. You can find it at CBNSports.com. At the very top, there is LaMelo. Off. Several questions, of course, still remain. Like, of course, will the draft even happen on time? But until then, let's say hello once again to Gary Parrish, our college basketball insider and draft analyst joining us here on HQ. So look, Gary, you got LaMelo going number one to the dubs. Uh, explain some reasoning here, given the fit and the personnel already there. Well, uh, when I'm doing mock drafts before the lottery uh, order is set, I do not take team needs into consideration. So I have him going number one more than I have him going to the Warriors or any other team. And the reason I have him at the top of the draft is because in the simplest of terms, I, I think he's got um, the best potential to be a star of anybody who's going to be available. He's a six, seven point guard who has obviously tremendous size for his position. He's an incredible ball handler, incredible playmaker, incredible uh, passer. In fact, I think he's the best playmaker and passer available in the 2020 NBA draft. There are some obvious concerns. You know, the shooting percentages were not good in Australia, but that probably has as much to do with shot selection as anything else. Although he does have some mechanical stuff that needs to get straightened out. But, um, you know, at the top of any draft, um, this one, uh, the last one, or anyone five years from now, uh, at the top, you're trying to, to identify the guy who's got the best chance to be a star. And I think in this draft, given the things that he can so clearly do, LaMelo Ball's got the best chance to be a star. Quickly, we are going to get to the other guys, but is it clear number one for you, or is it going to be close over the next few guys that we'll be talking about in just a bit? It's not clear. Like like last year, it was clear with Zion Williamson. In 2012, it was clear with, with Anthony Davis. Sometimes it is clear-cut. Basically, everybody would take the same guy. Uh, I think you could have maybe five different guys uh, under serious consideration to be the first pick in this draft. So um, I think it should be LaMelo Ball. But it's totally, totally reasonable to think it should be James Wiseman, Anthony Edwards, or at least a couple of, of other guys as well. I'll throw in Obi Toppin, of course, and you mentioned the other guys behind LaMelo Ball. They seem to be safe, but how safe are there? Is there another player that eventually could make, 